amateur psychologist, but having watched you play, it seems like your body language is a lot more assertive and aggressive in the last few games. I wonder, was there a moment where you were just kind of like, you know, I can do this college thing. I can play at this level. Uh, yeah, I'm always confident. I, I mean, I know I can play at the level. Um, but the last yeah, the last five games or so, uh, I just felt really aggressive. And I, that's what I got to be to to help our team win and just keep getting wins. And what's been the the key? Your, your three-point shooting um, has been very good the last few games. You just sort of what, – what's been the key to that? Uh, I've just been getting in the gym a lot, getting putting up shots a lot. I've been getting in the gym every night. Even before the Iowa game, I got in the gym at like 12 that night. And, you know, just putting up shots. So midnight before the Iowa game, you putting up shots? Yeah. <laughs> like you said, the confidence is really strong. What has this last week done for you, maybe in terms of finding out what your role needs to be on this team? Um, really just staying aggressive. I think me staying aggressive uh, helps our team get get into the game and, and comes with energy. And uh, that's what I think in those games. How important has what Nick's been able to do been for you guys? Oh, I've been real important. He's a real unselfish guy. Uh, he finds you in the right spots. He gets you the ball when you need the ball, and uh, he gets his when he when he needs to get his too. Is he un too unselfish at times? Don't, don't sometimes he needs to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. He's, he's he's definitely too unselfish at times because uh, he could get to the rim and score at will. Uh, I think so. Uh, he's definitely too unselfish at times, but uh, it'll come in the, in the coming games. What do you know about you and I? Just maybe as a program. I know you haven't looked at them a lot this year. Uh, I just heard they were like they were physical. They were they're like big, strong guys. They 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 farm guys. So I mean they they strong. <laughs> I, I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. But uh, uh, we haven't really looked at them too much. Uh, I heard they got some some, some big wins this year. Uh, so I'm just coming and looking, coming to looking and being aggressive. I think they'll be the first team you play that. I don't know if you know this, but I mean they slow it down like no other team in the country. What, what's the challenge? I guess. In, Facing a team that wants to milk 30 seconds off the clock pretty much every time. Uh, we just got to come in and play defense and, and get stops to play at our pace uh, on the offensive end. So we just got to stop them and, and run a transition to, to play at our – let them make them play at our pace. After the Iowa game, Coach Prom said you, you lost a bet to get a haircut. What's the deal with that? Uh, I think he was kind of joking. I, I, <laughs> we never made a bet. <laughs> But uh, yeah, he he been pushing me to cut my hair. But I don't know if I'm gonna do it though. <laughs> I hope the injuries to Jacoby and Zoran kind of affected the way you guys practice and what you can what you do. Uh, we don't really go much five on five because I mean we don't have enough people. But um, we just been going four on four, transition, defense, offense. So. Do you know any of their guys? They've got a freshman Pickford. Would you have ever run into him in the AAU? Who? Pickford, uh, is it Tyshawn? Yeah. Tyshawn Pickford? No, I don't know. 